Depends on your map servers of reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. How do you know? I really don't want to perpetuate conversation with this guy. I'm really sick of him. Uh, what am I doing again? Uh, I know that I have to... I mean, do I have like a... Do I need to open the map or something? I don't know. I... Help. I mean, if you gave me a telescope to do it or something. Yeah, help me out here. I just remembered something that may help you. You can review some of the abilities you've learned on the pause screen. That's true. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the scope on the Sheikah slates. So, um, abilities? Or was it... Was it... Was pause or some shit that he was talking about? What's the pause? What is pause? Help me. Um, I think I'm just being an idiot, guys. Okay, so I just need to find, like, how to use the, uh... Actually, maybe it's here, because this looks more related to the Sheikah Slate, isn't it? Memories. Jeez. Um, is that for cutscenes or something? Oh, no. It's just because it's got, like, a film there. I, I was just thinking maybe it's got something to do with cutscenes. But anyway. Um, learned abilities. I mean, are you sure it's not here? I mean, I'm looking for learned abilities. that are. Sheikah Slate data has been damaged. Oh, dear. But... Are you telling me to use this? Okay. Uh, <laughs> can you tell me again? Help me out here. Yes, yes, you must. Self-reliance. Look, I've never played this game before. Shut your goddamn mouth. Anyway, just check the pause screen if you ever need a reminder of what you can do. But, what is the pause screen at this point? Is this the pause screen? Is this the pause screen? What's the pause screen? You fucking idiot. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I'm kind of losing my patience with this guy. I mean, I'm just wondering because maybe I'm being an idiot. Am I being an idiot, guys? Possibly. I'm just thinking, I mean, pause screen. I'm on the pause screen. I'm looking for something that will show me. I mean, do I need to put a pin to do that? I don't know. I mean, this is my Sheikah Slate. I've opened my Sheikah Slate, but how do I use the scope for it? That's what I need to find out. How do I use the scope for the Sheikah Slate? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I'll find it one day. I swear to you. I swear to you. Oh, here we go. It would have been nice if they were a little bit more specific about that, but anyway, um, view distant things and mark them with pins. So, um, okay. So, mark distant things. I mean, but, so it's telling me that when I have this open, okay, let's zoom in a bit further here. I don't know what, okay, so in relation to where I am, it's straight ahead, straight ahead there. So maybe about, let's be realistic about this. Yeah, about, stop it. About here, maybe. I'll just put a pin down. Um, can I can I put a pin? Is this like a trash? Yeah, trash. There we go. A pin with trash on it. Okay, now. Select. This is the most dysfunctional shit I've ever... Okay. What, what is this doing? The scope and pins. View distant things and mark them with pins. Place a pin. That's what I've done. But, like, are you telling me I need to put a pin on everything. I mean, I, I'm i almost estimating where it's going to be at this point. I don't know where it is. I don't know how far away that is. I've got no idea. I'll put a pin here. I'll put another fucking trash, trash can or whatever that is. I hate this guy. Anyway, um, where's the other one? There's four in total, didn't you say? So, that makes three. Where's the fourth? Is that the one I went to before? I actually don't know. Maybe I'll just mark them all. So I'll look over there. I hope I'm doing this right. I hope I'm not being a complete idiot. See, I don't know. I can't relate this to distance. What do you want? 
<laughs> if you still wish to acquire the paraglider, you must put in the effort. I will not simply give it away, you see. Yeah, but I'm a little bit confused as to what you're trying to tell me to do. You're telling me to just put random fucking pins where I think it's going to be. Because this scoping and pinning business, this is what it is. It's telling me to... I mean, I've gone to the pin and clicked on it, and it's not really giving me an option to scope it or something. I mean, I'm assuring... I'm assuming that this is the scoping, and the pinning is what I'm doing with... Anyway. Point is, I just don't... Maybe I've already done what I need to do. Maybe I just need to ignore this fuck face. I was just thinking that, like, you know, when I actually found the shrines... Okay, so the blue one there. Okay, good to know. So one two, three, four. So I've discovered them all. Good to know. See, I was thinking that perhaps this was the one that I had just gone to before, and so I wasn't too sure if that was right, but uh, yeah, it seems that the one that we've already been to is that one over there. So how about I just abandon this prick? Sounds like a good idea. So how about we, uh, can we fast travel to pins? No, we can't. That would be a bit extreme, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't want to put that there. Okay, so what we'll do is we will leave this place. Yes, I will leave this place. Most definitely. I'm sick of that guy. It just looked like we needed to talk to him when we were ready to do something, that's all. So, basically, the faster way to get down here is doing this, not, like, climbing down and dying twice. Like, seriously. I mean, I was being a complete idiot at, at that time, so I feel really bad about doing that, but anyway. Um, I can pretty much see the shrines anyway, so... I mean, as you can see, I have placed the pins completely incorrectly. I mean, this is the point. I had absolutely no idea how far away they were. I just... I had no means of really knowing how far away they were. So, anyway, at least I've got a general idea of where they are, I guess. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, we're about to go on an, on an adventure, my friends. Uh, let's go and fight this uh, Stalfos, I guess. Oh, it's a... Never mind, it's a... Bokoblin, like they're literally just referring to it in the same way as you would a living Bokoblin, but it's dead, which is interesting. I mean, I wonder why they do that. They can't call it like undead Bokoblin, they can't call it like skeleton, skeletal Bokoblin. It's just a Bokoblin. Like, are you crazy, Doomlink? It looks exactly the same as the other one. Anyway, um, yeah, so you saw how freaking off the mark I was with those <laughs> pins. I mean, that is the point. I literally had no idea like, the scale of the map that I was looking at. I had no idea. So, I put the pins just where I thought they were, and I was completely wrong. Which doesn't seem to matter. I mean, I, I thought that I was having to do something, and then that guy would be like, okay, you've done that, and we move on to the next thing. I don't know. But yeah, anyway. What on earth is this? Is this a Beemos? It looks like a Beemos. I don't know if we can fight this thing. Actually, we might be able to, because... Um, if I can get my bow, so if I let go there, yeah, there we go. So this is good. I only have three arrows, though. This is not going to be good enough. Hit you in the eye. Yeah, this is not going to work. This is not going to work at all. I'm just going to try and get close to you here. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, this is frightening me. Uh, holy shit. Let's not do that again. Um, okay, good to know. You see, this is trial and error. This seems like a bit of a trial and error game. Fair enough. I mean, trial and error for the tower, trial and error for this weird Beemos, which seems to charge up a massive laser and just absolutely annihilate you, like burn your body to a crisp. I mean, that's extreme. Why does it have to mark on the map, like, every single place where I died? That's really mean. Um, anyway, well, let's get around here quickly. <laughs> okay, so we just need to avoid this Beemos here. I mean, I'm assuming it's got the same name that it had before. Hide behind here. No. So, I mean, I'll... Just trying to avoid this thing, honestly. I mean, that's my priority. So if I can just, uh, get up there and then run. Running, running. So, yeah, um, I need to get around this Beemo statue to get to my destination. So, that's what we're doing for now. Um, oh, gosh. So, can I... Yeah, I can go around here. It seems a little bit strange where I'm going at the moment. I mean, that's where we need to go, in there. Jabaij? Yabaij? Maybe it's... Yabai! <laughs> ah, Yabai! Sorry. Um, anyway. 
It is probably not that, but anyway. It could be. It's it's the it's the oh no, that's not good try. Um come on. Let's kill these keys. I'm assuming they're called keys in this game as well. I'm just assuming that all the names are more or less the same. So yeah, because it is still the Zelda universe, so yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, Keys Wing, there you go. I was correct, of course. <laughs> Why would they change the name of Keys this late in the game? Um is that hand still attacking me? I don't know. I mean, aside from the fact that this guy doesn't have a head and he's like... Looks like he's cheering? I don't know what the deal with him is. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about this Beemo, so I don't... Yeah, it has pretty... Has a pretty good targeting distance, this thing. I'm probably going to save, like, right here, because I'm a bit worried about... Pretty much fucking this up. Like, I'm pretty... Pretty concerned about doing that. Um, so, yeah, I might as well pick up all that stuff. Oh no, I'm being attacked by another one. Um, okay, whoa my, holy lord. This is not good. Um, this is probably like the most unideal situation. Um, okay, maybe if I sneak, I didn't consider that. Maybe sneaking works with these guys. Oh, am I out of charge with this thing? Great. So, well, I'll have to plug this in. Sorry guys, I just need to, um, plug in my gamepad to continue using it. So let's, um... Can I, can I turn this on, please? Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Okay, no, no. Start. You'd better start communicating with it. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. We're back on. We're back on. So, um, this isn't ideal simply because uh, I need to sit much closer to the television, which will mean that maybe a little bit more TV spill. I'm not too sure. And by closer to the television, I mean, like, really close. But anyway, um, I feel slightly more immersed in the game. <laughs> slightly. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a very big TV in my room. It's pretty old. It's the same TV that I used to record my, uh, my Demon Souls Let's Play back, back in 2010. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's pick key swings up. Ah, I really don't like this. This is a kind of um, stressing me out. But let's try my theory of sneaking. See how that works. Can we sneak? Uh, we sort of can, yeah. Let's just try sneaking. I'm not too sure how that's going to work, but I'll do my best anyway. Seems that this is indeed working much better for me than before. So yes, yeah, sneaking is definitely going to be something that we need to do. So, I mean, then again, it wasn't so dire. It wasn't as dire as I thought. I thought that I would be in the sights of both of those uh, Beemos for quite a while there, but I actually was being stupid and could avoid them pretty easily, so, yeah, anyway. This is definitely a situation where you need to be quick about getting out of this thing's sights, because otherwise you'll just get destroyed. So where exactly is the thing? I mean, I'm climbing this here maybe to get some kind of idea. I mean, I don't even know how he can climb this damn thing. How can he do that? How can he do that? Can someone tell me how he can do that? That's insane. Anyway, um, can we jump that? We don't need to, because it's connected. But anyway, um, it seems that we need to literally climb the walls to get in here. Interesting. Uh, anyway, I wasn't expecting to need to do that. I'm assuming we would need bombs to get through there, but anyway. Well, that's interesting. So, we will use the Sheikah tablet here. Or the Sheikah slate. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, <laughs> I really don't know what to call it. Help me. Uh, anyway. So, I'm still recording. Everything's good. Good to see. I can record for 11 hours until I run out of space, <laughs> which is good. Uh, but anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I've actually been recording for a while. I mean, time flies when you're playing this game. I feel like this game is just so expansive that I'm going to get lost in it a bit, but uh, I'm going to get lost in the size of it, but that's okay. I'll just keep on playing and do my best to, uh, I, I guess, do as much as I can. Oh, it's, that's right, it's these trial things. I keep forgetting about this. Do you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Yabai! <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I need to not do that. It, it Maybe it is Yabai. It could be. You never know. But anyway. The oh no, this isn't good uh, shrine is... Or well, maybe, maybe the phrase would be less... Maybe it would be more concise, like... More concise than that. Maybe like, oh no, or... This is bad, or something like that. But you get the point. Um, can we just stop with the cutscene business? I mean, I've done this before, haven't I? Oh no, we're getting a new rune, that's right. So each time... Oh, remote bomb. 
So what's the um, clipboard for? <laughs> What's the clipboard for? <laughs> am, I, am I writing down my, uh, you know... Anyway, I was about to say, like, maybe... Talking about uh, bomb one detonated, bomb two... Anyway, sorry. Um, I just wonder what the fucking clipboard's for. What is this? What is that? Is that, like, a square bomb? What is that? It's a cube? Interesting. Um, detonate with L. That's frickin' cool. Anyway, so um, we can have it as a block or we can have it as that, which is really interesting. And what I love about this more than anything else is that this does not really relate to any kind of magic consumption, which is really nice. So I'll just drop this here. And I'm assuming that it doesn't actually set off a detonation timer until... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's remote detonate. That's so cool. This is the first time that we've had remote detonating bombs in a Zelda game. So I'm really ex excited about this. I mean, the closest we've really had to remote detonating bombs are bomb chews, in the sense that you can kind of control where they go, but it's not really remote detonating. It's more like remote sending it exactly where you want to go, but, uh, you know, from a distance, but, uh, yeah, anyway. It wasn't so much like that in the earlier 3D Zelda games, though. It was more like that in the uh, DS games, where bomb chews were something that you could actually um, send pretty much wherever you wanted. Like, you would actually draw on the map physically draw with the stylus where you wanted it to go, and it would follow that path. It was actually really interesting. I actually quite enjoyed the 3D Zelda game, not the 3D Zelda games, the DS Zelda games. I really like them. But anyway, um, wow. Look at all these random weapons that I have. I think the one with the uh, weapon rating of 10. Whoa. I mean, I knew it was a claymore, but I, yeah, geez, this is big. It's got a, it's got a weapon rating of 10, so it'll be doing some pretty good damage. Anyway, uh, let's climb up here. Of course, I mean, I'm going to be kind of scouring these dungeons or trials, I guess you can call them. It's up to you what you want to call them, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of looking for the... Uh, so I'll throw and detonate, if I could possibly do that, which I couldn't. That's okay, um, I'll just... Oh no, that actually, wow, that has a huge range of detonation, that surprises me. Anyway, um, can we jump like that? That's not much of a distance jump, is it? Anyway, um... But yeah, I'm going to try and really make sure that I'm searching as much as I possibly can when it comes to looking around these dungeons, because I don't want to miss anything. I mean, what if I missed this claymore? That would be like a really big problem. So yeah, I'm just going to try and make sure that I can clear these dungeons more or less 100%. I don't know. Okay, so it seems that we launch the bombs that way. Interesting. So I'll just wait until this is ready. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. So drop. Then detonate. Uh, I pressed the wrong thing to detonate, but that's okay. Kind of ruined the... Uh, how do you say? The flow of things there by not detonating it right at that time. But anyway. So we actually... Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, well, the, the machines are playing catch, everyone. Well, let's not disturb them from their game. Um, I'm just wondering how we get over there, is that... Okay, so there's a ladder for that. Did we lose health there? I don't know if we did. Anyway, I'm actually really eager to use this claymore because, um... Yeah, well, we haven't had a monster confrontation in a while. We've just been avoiding Beemos, and we didn't actually fight those Bokoplins before. But anyway, yeah, I do want to get in a fight. <laughs> I actually want to get in a fight. But anyway, um, aside from me being silly, I wonder how we get to that. I'm not too sure. It looks like something for the paraglider, to be honest. Actually, no, it looks like we dropped down on it. Okay, I'll have to seriously keep that in mind. In fact, I'll make that my target. I'm just going to try and ignore everything and just get to that chest, because that looks like an optional chest. And you know what optional chests have in them? Things that are useful. Because, you know, if it's optional, then you can miss it. And if you can miss it, it'll be pretty good when you don't miss it. Oh, god damn you. Okay, I need to get this to this chest, guys. I need to get to it. I'm not... I refuse to allow myself to miss this chest. Maybe I can launch myself? Didn't really think about that. Maybe I can launch myself. Is that something I can do? So I think maybe the ball... Okay, so the ball is to indicate that it's possible to be sent flying. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, so that's the point of the ball, to show you that it can launch objects to the other side. So the ball itself does not actually have any purpose other than to demonstrate that to you. So Amber, a fossilised resin with cam caramelesque 
Sheen. <laughs> I, I was going to say something else, but anyway, yeah, caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Well, fair enough. I'm assuming that that's going to relate to maybe weapon upgrades or maybe even armor upgrades. I'm not too sure, but definitely an upgrade material for later on.